Good evening from Tower Hill Reserve. I'm 15 k's east of Port Ferry and I've just come and rejoined the Princess Highway. That would be the ocean. And when it's when Emily Street, that's my name for the Google woman, when she said turn left onto no turn right. <laughs> turn right onto Princess Highway, I thought, didn't I start off on that a long, long time ago? And I haven't really looked at the map. I was in a mood today of following directions. So when she said, go back to Princess Highway, I thought, I was on that earlier. And then I realised, Google Maps is pretty good because it looks into current traffic conditions. It's linked up to the internet if you use it online. So it might chew up a little bit more data, but it lets you know, and then it picks the best route. So what Emily's done for me is she has picked a possible faster route, but she's also picked a route with less distractions. And I needed that today, because I've had enough distractions without having extra ones. If I was on the Princess Highway, I might have bumped into musicians on their way out here, more towns and shops and all sorts. In the end, I passed through quite a few. I stopped at a place called Inverlee for lunch at about 2.30. Oh, 2.27, because the kitchen closed at 2.30. And she snuck me in, the proprietor, or the manager, or the hospitality worker. So I got my chicken coconut curry. Uh, sadly, the lovely couple who were sitting out the front when I got there, and were there for quite a while when I was there, when they came in to order their lunch, she had to say, I'm sorry to let you know the kitchen's closed. Oh, but there was a bakery next door. Now, it's currently... Oh, I was going to listen to the news. It's currently four minutes past seven, and I said that I would be in Port Ferry at the earliest by 5pm. So, seven... It's 11 minutes away, 15 kilometres, so that's not such a bad result. Two little embuggerances, one of which I've mentioned earlier today, elsewhere, possibly here, I can't remember, I don't know where I'm putting this. What are we up to? 2.32. One is that a provider of mine has been ringing me, left a couple of messages, but has done a lot of ring and hang-ups. And look, I know they can't know what I'm up to, but still, there was just a really weird correlation of me trying to order my lunch, them ringing on one phone, hanging up, ringing on another phone, leaving a message. So I've got three little interruptions there. Oh, four, because when they don't leave a message, I get a message to say they didn't leave a message. A voicemail. I haven't counted them all up, but it's something like eight or nine times today. One of them was when I was just dropping my my wire fronts and my... 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 my, my uh, what do you call them? Stubbies to uh, point Percy at the porcelain and bleed the lizard and shake what? Well, I was going to say shake hands with the girlfriend's best friend, but um, no, shake hands with the unemployed. Uh, again, I, I don't get in for all this. Oh, yeah, it's always the way. Well, no, it's not. I count up the number of times you flop it out to leave, leave more room in your bladder, and it doesn't happen. Oh, it's always the way. No, it's not. <sighs> Try and work out what's in my pocket. Bags. All right, so uh, th that was one. And the other one is 6.18pm, as I was deciding, well, do you know what? I could stop at Warrnambool. There's no law that says I have to get to Port Ferry tonight. The meet-up for the MCs, I think, is tomorrow. My first shift is tomorrow at 4.30pm. I know that because I tried to turn up to it last week, <laughs> except I was in Nanup, Western Australia. 6.18, just as I was turning off on the, on whatever, on the road to Hamilton, took a left to go towards Warrnambool on the B120, the check engine light came on. Now, I left the compound this morning at around about 11am. No, no, I got there at 11am, beg your pardon. So I left there at, I don't know, half past 11 so we're talking less than eight hours later. Well, no, less than, less than seven hours later. I've already got to check the engine. And I must admit, every time I stopped and then started again today, it did 
pause, shudder, I'm about to st <laughs> sneeze. And yeah, so hopefully that's not going to be me spending lots of quality time around a mechanic's place. Never mind the fact that I do have access to emergency assistance with this, with this thing, as I needed on Tuesday evening when I drained the battery in the other one. So hopefully it's all all okay and I'm going to get back on the road and won't have any more stops now. I reckon 11 minutes I should be able to get there in one piece but you never know. Who knows what might happen in the next 11 minutes. However, from Tower Hill Reserve it's Bill Quinn saying see you when I'm looking at you. Bye for now.